Hey there, this is Joel. I'm gonna do a basic granular synthesis tutorial Maximus P5. All right, so the first thing we do is we open up the Maximus P window, and there, there she is. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is make a buffer object. And what the buffer object is, is a place for Maximus P to, ref to keep a file and then refer back to it. So I'm gonna call this granulate this. All right, so now we got this, and if we open up this buffer, there's nothing in it because we haven't put anything in it yet. So to put something in it, we can make a. Oops, no, if we make a message that says read, we're gonna tell the buffer to read. It's like, but I don't want to read. Well, you're going to I'm gonna read this file that I'm telling you to read. Organ loop. What does it sound like? That's the right one. So put that in there. Now when we open it, there we go. We can see there's actually sound in there. Uh, we're gonna go back here and we're for this, we're going to use the play object. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do granular synthesis, but for now, we're going to use this one. So granulate this biatch. All right. Now, so this, so now play knows to use the granulate this biatch buffer so it's going to use that sound file and but how do we actually play things in it well we you're going to send some other things into the play object we're going to send a line object we're going to send it in and we're going to send it in with some some motives we're going to tell it to start at zero and we're going to go to one second and we're going to take one second to do it so when we put it in there and we make uh let's see make the output. Doot, doot. Let's see what does it sound like. Oh, there's sound. Awesome. Okay. But how does granular synthesis work? Well, basically, if we take a very small chunk of that sound and then we repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and, and then repeat it and repeat it and make it just like a big chunk of that one tiny sound and just like spray that sound everywhere, then it's granular synthesis. Yeah. Okay. So how would we do that then? Well, we're going to make a phaser and phaser is a good object. It, well, it's hard. It's easier to show you how it works than to really explain it sometimes. So if we make a scope, um, we can see how it's working and that's a really nice way to see how, you know, see, there we go. It's going, the middle line is zero and it's going from zero to one and it's going in a sawtooth form, but it's just ramping up from zero to one constantly over and over and over again. Uh, the number that you put into phaser is the number of Hertz. So if we, it, it'll actually sound like something. So we actually, if we put phaser into the output, we can hear it clicking. But if we say like, say I want 440, which is a, ah, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why isn't it stopping? Why isn't it stopping? Why isn't it stopping? I don't understand why it didn't stop when I told it to. I have no idea. I have no <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we can see what Phaser is doing. Um, there we go. It's going for zero one. Okay, so contrast phaser. We can use the cycle object. Uh, we'll just name this a cycle and put it into the other phaser. And what does cycle do? Well, cycle goes from zero. No, it doesn't. It goes from minus one to plus one, and it kind of does it in a sine wave form. That's that's what cycle is. All right, we're gonna use that a little bit later, but for now, the phaser is the main object, and how do we determine how big of a chunk that we're going to grab from the granulate this biatch file? We're gonna grab a small chunk and we're gonna play it over and over again. Um, the size of that chunk is determined by how big, um, how far phaser is moving. It's right now it's moving from zero to one. It's very small. We're gonna make it move from zero to 100. So it's like 100 milliseconds. So if we go from, if we multiply it by 100, 
and we send that 0 to 1 signal in there, multiply that by 100, it's going from 0 to 100, and now it's actually going to make some sound, if we multiply say 10, 10 hertz. That's, that's granular synthesis. And if we make it go faster, it, it's a pitch shifter. Whoa. Half speed. Yeah, pretty, pretty fantastic granular synth. All right. Now, the funny thing about granular synthesis when you're doing it like this is you get this artifact that click, 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 click. And the way to kind of get rid of that is to... Let's turn it off for a second. Um, the way to get rid of that is to say that... Okay, the reason that it has that click is that phaser is going from 0 to 1 and it's dropping. And in that drop, it is disconnecting the waveform and it's, and it's making a click. So what you do is you say, I want sound here, and I want no sound where the click is. So you create an envelope and you say, yes sound, no sound, yes sound, no sound. And you repeat that over and over again so it, it lines it up in such a way that the click is never heard. Well, not really. And we're gonna use the cycle object to do that. And it's not perfectly set up for it. We have to manipulate it. Um, if I can just remember how I'm going to do that, it would be great. Okay, so the cycle object, make another one. Uh, the right inlet is the phase. And we're going to use the phaser to control the phase, you know, phaser phase. Um, and then we're going to manipulate the output to make the kind of envelope that we want. And how are we going to do that? That's a very good question. Okay, let's see. So we're get, we're get rid of that and we're going to make a multiply. So the volume is going to be, the volume of this is going to be controlled by the cycle. And how am I going to do this? Okay, so I want it to go from zero to one. I want cycle to go from zero to one. It's going from minus one to plus one. So I'm going to make, so I'm going to multiply it by 0.5 and then I'm going to add Add 0.5. It's math. If you don't like math, then don't think about it, but it's some math. And so I need it to line up properly with phaser. Um, I'm not going to go exactly how I do it, but I need it to line up properly. And the way that it is currently is, is half off. So I'm going to put it halfway through the phase by adding 0.5. And so this should be correct for the phase. So now that when we add the output, the easy deck. Uh, it should be working. Oh, I hope it's working. Oh. Oops, it turned on. So you can kind of hear that there there's less of that clicking sound. It's not perfect, but there's definitely less of it. And the way that you would get very nice granular synth would be to make like say we'll just say eight eight of these and each one is like so it's, so the so the envelope is going like this you make the next one go like that and the next one goes like this and it's sort of like it's sort of like a way a car works like where each piston is firing separately and it makes a more it makes a smoother sounding engine granular synthesis engine yeah so this is a really basic way to make a granular synth definitely do a more interesting version <laughs> a more and more just this is still fun but a more in-depth version later on okay good luck i'll see you next time